everyone Sophia here for my great challenger welcome back to my channel and episode two of my DIY closet um, also known as uh, the circus show so um, today I'm gonna uh, start placing the plate the posts on the wall that's gonna be here on the left I got a lot of comments and uh, lots of encouragement uh, from you guys on the video yesterday that I posted thank you all uh, but there's some stuff that I need to talk about because there's a lot of repeat of ideas and I need to explain why I cannot do those ideas even though they sound great uh, but there's a lot of reasons why I can't do them so I'm gonna do that first and then we'll get right into the cutting and nailing uh, screwing in and all of this stuff uh, measuring and whatnot Okay, uh, let's get started. And uh, clearly I'm not here for the fashion statement. I am wearing my leopard uh, stuff. Okay. Um, first things first. This attic. Um, there were some comments about why don't I take, condemn this, right, and put the door here instead. I'm going to tell you why. I've responded to those comments already, but I'm going to show you why. This is part of the roof if you look at the slant here it keeps going this way all right so the door you wouldn't be you would have to crawl okay and then i have support beams here why because this part that's right here and the whole window staircase thing is part of the dormer there's a dormer window yeah maybe you can see better okay you see this this is where the old air conditioner was when we had the house insulated we had them remove that air conditioner that was part of the wall and then i put this piece of plywood here because eventually i'm supposed to shit rock the whole thing eventually okay but this whole area here that's um what i call the cathedral ceiling is actually a dormer it's a dormer window um and i don't know if I can show you, well, no, I'm trying to see if I can show you, uh, but this is actually outside on the other side, right? Um, and then again, if you follow the roof and the slant, it goes this way, all right? So that only, if we look at it from the inside, maybe you can see better, hold on. Okay, here you go this is the space that i have for a potential door and then these are serious support beams okay if i uh you see where the roof ends here and you see how it ends before the dormer all right so i don't want to remove those support beams to put a door there because i would be very concerned that it affects the integrity of the dormer. Can you imagine if I put a crack or something and now the dormer is starting to fall off? Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, so that was ID number one. And it's not a bad idea if I didn't have this dormer here. All right, ID number two was to just condemn the whole thing, uh, which I don't know if there's a leak or whatever, I need to have access to the roof. Remove the door. And somebody had a great idea of using this space to create like a shelving system. I could build that, put it on wheels and wheel it in and out if I need to um, get into the attic. So I'm actually thinking about that because if I was putting cubbies here, when I open my closet, I could have a whole set of cubbies here for shoes. So that's brilliant. Am I going to do it? I don't know. Okay. ID number two, which is what I had originally thought of, but Scott didn't want to do. I'm going to move back a little bit. Don't mind the mess. Was to just do a whole closet here, right? And have a door right where I'm at and walk through into the bathroom. Scott didn't want that, all right? So the other idea that folks gave me was to do another closet here. I could do that. But what am I going to put in there? Because it's really, you don't realize that, but this space here is not as wide as this one. I'm going to measure them if I find my thing here. I'm going to do it from the same uh, height, okay? On this side, 
I have 53 inches from the same height, okay? On this side, I have 18. The door is not centered. If it was centered, yes, it would be great. I would have two identical closets on the same, um, you know, on each side. But the door is not centered. Why? Because the bathtub is right here. When you walk into my bathroom, this is where the bathtub is. They have to put it somewhere. So I have to work with what I have, which is not much, okay? Not much. But I could still do something with that corner. Remember, my dress is going to go. I'm getting rid of my dresser. The bottom here is going to be all uh, baskets coming out on wheels, all right? This side here, this dress is going to go into the other um, closet. So this whole space here is going to be empty. I thought about just using it to put my bike, but I don't know. Maybe I'll do a bookcase system here, like in an L shape. That would be nice, but I'm already thinking about stuff that I didn't have in mind yet. Um, you know, I'm creating new things as I go. Now, here's a new idea. I hope you're following with the uh, uh, craziness here. You remember yesterday I was telling you that my issue was the door, right? And um, I needed a um, an opening for the doors that are available right now, which is the smallest one is 24 by 80, okay? So it would have to be just a single door and I could just have this here, just as one door, okay? But the problem if I do that is that I don't really have access to this here. I mean, I could, but the clothes would be in the way. So I thought about, well, what about French doors? Because that would look really cool, okay? If I had a set of French glass door. Same thing. Um, you need 93 and I don't have it because of this right here. Okay, I don't have it. So what I'm going to do, are you ready for this? <laughs> I'm going to make the opening as high and as open as possible. Probably up to here. So the opening is going to be somewhere around uh, 34, all right? like this. And what I'm going to do is that I'm going to make my own bifold doors. I'm not going to make um, louvered, even though there is a way of building them. You can, you can buy the track to put the uh, um, little slats in it. It's too complicated, but I can definitely build panels and have them uh, decorated with trim. Okay. Whether I make it art deco or not, there's a whole other story. I could actually do them in white with some kind of trim, uh, like a box trim in the middle and in it, in that trim, in that little area, put the same wallpaper I'm gonna put up on the ceiling. Very 80s, I know. Um, that's my style, okay? So I could have either uh, two large panels that open up or I could have three small panel or I could have four very short panels, two on either side. Somebody else had made a comment, uh, but if you put bifold doors, you gotta count the doors touching your clothes. The track is here, the doors fold outside of the closet. I personally have never seen a closet that has bifold doors that fold inside the closet. I don't know why they would make it that way unless it's put backward, um, but I don't know. All the bifold doors that I've seen, they fold onto themselves this way. They don't fall into the closet. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking of doing. Making my own doors. What do I need? Uh, strong, flat pieces of wood cut to size, the hinges and the truck on top, that's it. And then the rest is decorative trim. Uh, so it's doable. It's math <laughs> because I have to calculate, uh, but it's doable. Okay, how about we get started? Mm -hmm. 
So as I mentioned yesterday, I'm going to take my time. Okay, so it is already noon, believe it or not. Um, I don't know what I was doing. Went on the bike, we had breakfast, cleaned the kitchen, chit-chatted with Scott, and uh, now it's noon, <laughs> so I gotta get going. Um, I'm gonna take my time, I've mentioned that. Um, I'm gonna work on this today, tomorrow, Saturday, probably Sunday. I'm reserving some time in the afternoon to edit and quilt, um, and then I'm going back to work. So after that, it's not gonna be daily videos, I'm just saying you know now, uh, but I think you figured that out already. It's only gonna be one or two a week as I work on this during the weekend, okay, once I'm back to work, but it will get done, okay? It will get done, I don't know when. I said I was giving myself May 15th, right? To finish the whole thing, um, I think it's doable. But bottom line is now I have to start calculating and cutting stuff. So I'm going to do uh, first, I'm going to do the bottom and the top plate. And again, I'm doing the very best I can to uh, explain what I'm doing. All right. So in order for me to have a wall here, I need to have those boards uh, going all the way up. There has to be a bottom plate here that's a little bit off from the door frame because the sheetrock. So I have to install this two size. And right here on the ceiling, I need the matching one. And then I can now, well, anchor this to it. Well, actually it's gonna be like this. And then I'll anchor another one like this. And then the one here is gonna be a four by four. I have some people asking me why I'm using a four by four when it's always a two by four that's being used. Um, for various reasons. Uh, the first one is that I absolutely do not trust <laughs> my construction skills. And I really need a, a, a strong support on this closet. I really do. Um, you know, I mean, I could do two two by four next to each other. I could do that. Um, and I could also do a four by four, you know, it doesn't really matter. So the four by four is gonna be here. So what I need to do right now is calculate the length of this board and the length that I need up on the ceiling and I have to install them. Then I will install this one, the one in the middle, and then I will install the uh, four by four. Okay, so let's get started. I am not putting um, anything here yet. I will once I've installed everything I need. So I'm going to calculate from directly from the wall to here minus a half an inch that's for the um, sheetrock, okay? And all of this, of course, is assuming that the walls are straight. Um, it's 26 and three quarters. So I would have, yeah, and three quarters. So I need to move a half an inch. So it's 26 and one quarter. So we are on my deck now and I'm ready to cut. Um, so the bottom plate, if I didn't have the four by four, needs to be 26 and a quarter, right? That's what we said. But I have to take into account the uh, four by four, that's three and a half. So technically the top and bottom plates for that side of the closet, for that particular wall, has to be 22 and three quarters. So I need to cut two. at 22 and a quarter, right here. All right, so here's one. I don't need this. This is what I'm keeping.
So what I did earlier, and I don't know if you can see on camera, is that I pretty much drew uh, what I was planning on doing. So I have my bottom plate here that stops right here, and this is the 4x4. Four four. So I'm just going to put it right here, and it stops right where the 4x4 four four starts. And I'm going to try those self-tapping screws. Um, we'll see if that works. The self-drilling uh, lath screws, I put three directly into um, this. Hopefully it works, otherwise I have to drill them. from the door frame here. Let's measure twice. Wait. I'm not in front of it. <laughs> I'm blocking the view, sorry. Let me draw a line. Okay. And then, so I have a board going this way. Right, and I have the one that goes on the ceiling, which is this one right here. So if I put this one on the ceiling, that means that the one that's on the wall needs to stop here. Alright, so I'm going to measure from here all the way to the top of the board at the bottom. Am I making sense? I hope so. Okay, let's measure this. Well, hello, mister. Hey. You're here right on time. Am I? Yeah. What are we doing? Hold this at the bottom for me, please. Okay, we'll do. You got it? No. There we go. Okay. So we need to cut a board at uh, we're gonna do it in centimeters, two hundred and fifteen. Because an inch is gonna be a pen. So two hundred and fifteen. You remember that? Sure. Two fifteen. Alright, let's go downstairs. We're gonna cut a board at two fifteen. There's not a lot of space here at end, you know? Mm. Okay, so we have two, there are two fifteen. The first one goes here. The second one goes right here, okay? And over here is the four by four. Hmm. So we're gonna start by installing this one. So what I need you to do is hold it. So what I'm gonna do while you're holding it on the line, I'm gonna put in two screws and then you'll do the rest of the screws, okay? Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna put this one here to anchor it. That's really going to ensure that it stays in place. And we're gonna do that for every single one of them. I'm not remembering the name of these, but I think they're called butterfly anchors. Not sure. Okay, so these are self-tapping screws meaning that they're going to go into um, straight into the wood by themselves. You don't have to pre-drill. And um, you always work in alternate. 
So if I put one here, you the next one, one has to be there. All right? So okay. I'm going to put the one over here, and then you'll put this one and that one. Oh, okay. Okay? Okay. One here and one here. Okay, so while you hold it, make sure it doesn't shift. Okay, I'm just going to put in one screw to hold it, and I'm going to do it as close as possible to the door frame here because there's got to be studs here to hold the door frame. Alright, so I'm just going to put it here. So, so far we have one of those uh, anchor thing at the bottom. And then I did put one screw right here to hold it. And we're going to put the top plate and the same anchor system right here at the corner to hold it. calculations are correct which they really are but you never know this one is going to be one of the supports okay and it's supposed to go right here and we're going to anchor it just the same way that we anchored the other ones Okay, and for good measure after that, I'll do a uh, toenail. So, uh, we have these two installed, and now I have to do the 4x4. Four so I placed a plate, a support plate right here at the bottom and we did the same thing here on top and now we're ready to place the 4x4 four four and screw it in on the sides. It's kind of hard to get a right angle for the camera. Okay, so let's place it in. And okay, so you see the issue here is the carpeting. So, okay. we'll start from the bottom, I guess. Then. Very good. You start okay. from the bottom. Okay. I got this. You got it? Yep. Put it in. There's the bottom part that's still too long, I think. Hold on. Do you think I can hammer it in place? I got this. Otherwise, I have to sand it. We might be off by a, uh, an eighth. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see. Uh huh. We're okay. uh, scraping the ceiling. Yep. Alright, so I'm off by one eighth. So you gotta take it back downstairs and we gotta take off an eighth. Okay? Well, I mean, there's that bottom part that we didn't cut fully. No, that's not one of It's all oh, over there? Yeah, over there. Alright, so we're gonna cut it by, uh, we're gonna cut a little bit over two eighths. Okay? okay? Alright, so you gotta bring it back downstairs. Scrape the ceiling, but that's all right. It's getting wallpapered anyway. All right, so we got it. And that we can definitely hammer in. And that, my dear, this 
pause that wall and moving anyway. Well, how about that? <laughs> Build the frame for the wall. Yay! I'm excited. And you know what? This closet's not that small. Let me get um, let me get a hanger. Hold on. Main frame. Yeah. Okay. So assuming this is hanging here, right? I got about 11, 12 inches. Wait, what's going on here? <gasps> yeah. Assuming this is hanging here, I got a good almost 10 inches before I get to the door. Um, so let me put that away. The shelf, I don't have to cut it because I'm putting it right here at the angle, right? Hold on. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put it as high as possible. And over here, um, I have a little bit left. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm going to ship rock this. Or I could just ship rock it and then, well, I could cut that. I could cut it. That's not a big deal. Um, but, yeah. Okay, so now the issue. Am I still in frame? Oh, not even. All right, so the, fr the, uh, so the shelf is going to go up here, right? Um, and then again, I have the other shelf on top here. So over here, I'm going to put piles of stuff with dividers. So I could have t-shirts, jeans, you know, you name it. The drawers at the bottom are really only going to be for my unmentionables. Uh, and then again, there's a shelf on top here where I'm going to be able to put um, either boxes or I think I'm going to put my purses up there. Um, shoes, I'll have to figure out. Either I'll build a cubby in here. We'll see. All right, so it's fitting just what I got and nothing else. And that's going to force me to uh, pare down even more. Um, the sheet rocking here is going to be a thinner version of what I got on the outside, only because I don't want to cut the shelf too much. Um, but I figured if I wasn't sheet rocketing, no, but I figured if I didn't put any sheet rock, then I can have little shelves here. And I can put stuff on it. Um, where am I going to put on a 2x4 shelf? Let me think. What could I stash in there? Not much. No, not really. Um, oh, I could do little rods, right? Because i got to start thinking creatively on how I'm going to organize this. I could put little rods here. And the rods would be to um, put my scarves, right? So I don't have to sheetrock this wall. Is it going to look good? Probably not. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, I can stand in it, right? So it's not too bad. What do you guys think? How did I do? How did we do? I think we did pretty good. And let me tell you, this is not going anywhere. Do you understand why I wanted to put the 4x4 four four here? Um, because I'm clumsy with everything else, okay? Uh, these are on, but I don't trust the strength. This, not going anywhere. So, next time you see me, I will be doing a piece of 2x4 here that's going to go all the way up to about here. And it's going to be used to start the uh, uh, frame for the door. I'm going to do the doors as high as possible, only for the purpose of oh, no, me being able to open and then grab stuff on top of the shelf. Okay, Because if the doors are here, then I, I can't get anything on top of the shelf. So the door is going to be as high as possible. It's probably going to be here. All right, so tomorrow I have to do that. Uh, or maybe I'll do this side. We'll see. I'll figure it out. But so far, I like it. Oh, the gong. I hope you're starting to visualize where I'm going with this, right? Now that there's a wall. Okay. 
Uh, I'll say it again. I don't think I have any particular set of skills. Okay. I kind of know myself around a little bit when it comes to uh, power tools. But what I have is a visual memory. So I can look at a, I don't know, like this old house has that old family handyman. They, they would have like map, right? Or, you know, drawing sketches of particular project. I I've, have a good idea um, of what this was supposed to look like um, and how to put it together. It, it's just a matter of having the right tool, the right material and the patience. You see, I'm again, I'm taking my time. All right. If I had done that three years ago, I would have tried to do the whole closet in one day and then the sheet rocking the following day and the whole thing would be totally wonky. Uh, but yeah, this is looking good. Okay. I built a wall. <laughs> I'm so happy. I am happy with myself, you know that? I, I think, and, and Edward did great, and he took a picture of it to show off to his friends, so he must be happy with it. Um, this is uh, this is great. Now, I've had question uh, about the outlets in the closet. I'm just gonna cover them, I don't need them. I have outlets here and over there. Don't need the outlet, I'm gonna cover it. Um, Moving the thermostat, super easy. You uh, unplug the back of it, you turn off the electricity, and then you just, I think it's called a coupling frog or something like that. It's uh, one of those nuts where you take the old wire, the new wire, you put them together and you screw the stuff over so that it basically seals them together and then you run your new cable, plug, plug a hole, and then you plug them back in the same way. This one is only two wire, black and white. That's it. It doesn't have like all sorts of crazy wires because there's no HVAC. It's just for the um, heat. Okay. And and I'm probably going to have to do that before the heat season is over because I got to make sure it's working. <laughs> okay. So there's that. So yeah. So the, uh, the plug is staying because I don't need it. Uh, but I had questions about lighting. What am I going to do for lighting in there? Well, um, I have to figure that out. I didn't think about it yet. My idea is just to have one of those plug-in lamps. Have you ever seen those that's like battery operated? And just put that on the inside here. Um, I could also take the light that's in the attic and rewire it to the top here but then I would have to move the button and all of this stuff I don't know I when I open the doors with the light in this bedroom I may not need a light in the closet uh, you never know so we'll see I'm not there yet but I hope you enjoyed this uh, circus here um, and that you're visualizing where I'm going with this closet um, it is three o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to edit this video and then I'm going to quilt. <laughs> and then tomorrow is New Year's Eve and we have no plan. So I will be back here tomorrow filming more of this closet nonsense um, for your entertainment. Thank you for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey, it's me. And guess what? Click that thumbs up if you really like this video. Thumbs down twice if you didn't. You can also share my video if you really, really liked it or save it to watch later. Also, you can subscribe to my channel, but don't forget to click that bell button so you are always notified when I post a new video. Thank you for watching.